Early voting begins Monday across the state of Texas. While there are seven constitutional amendments, there are also some local races you need to know about. CBS 4's Ashley Custer has more. Marcy, early voting begins on Monday and elections administrators across the valley want voters to know what's on the ballot before heading out to the polls. For starters, there are seven constitutional amendments. Prop 1 changes to the homestead exemption amount for school district property taxes from $15,000 to $25,000. Prop 2 exempts properties from taxation for surviving spouses of totally disabled veterans. Prop 3 repeals the requirement that certain executive officials reside in the state capitol while in office. Prop 4 allows professional sports team charitable foundations to conduct charitable raffles. Prop 5 authorizes counties with 7,500 people or less to perform private road construction and maintenance. Prop 6 provides for a right to hunt, fish and harvest wildlife. And Prop 7 allocates a portion of sales and use tax revenue to the state highway fund through 2032. Hidalgo County Elections Administrator Yvonne Ramon says there are some things to remember before heading to the polls. What is the ballot that pertains to me and what is it that I am supposed to vote for? Very important elections taking place. I encourage everyone to take time and head out there to the to the vote, to vote uh, to the poll locations and vote because it's so important to honor that choice of whom do we want to elect? What propositions do we want to become law? There are several local races in Hidalgo County, including the city of Alamo, Donna, Ed Couch, La Jolla, Palmview, and a special election in West Laco. In Cameron County, the city of Los Fresnos and Los Fresnos CISD will hold elections. Early voting ends October 30th, but voting day is November 3rd. If you want more information on polling locations, we'll have a link set up on our website. For now in Hidalgo County, I'm Ashley Custer, CBS4 News and ValleyCentral.com. And this week, the Hidalgo County Elections Office trained 104 clerks and poll workers to make sure they were prepared for new changes ahead of Monday's early voting. Before going to the polls, be sure to take your ID.